Bereshit, Genesis 9. And Elohim blessed at Noach and at his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply, and replenish at the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moves upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you at all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely at your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it. And at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require at the life of man. Whoso sheds man's blood, by man shall at his blood be shed. For in the image of Elohim made he man. And you, be fruitful and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. And Elohim spoke unto Noach, and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I establish at my covenant with you, and at with your seed after you, and at with every living creature that is with you, of the fowl, of the cattle, and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark, to every beast of the earth, and I will establish at my covenant with you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And Elohim said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my et, rather, I do set et my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a sign of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass, when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember et my covenant, which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting covenant between Elohim and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And Elohim said unto Noach, this is the sign of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Cham and Japheth. And Cham is the father of Kinaan. These are the three sons of Noah. And of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noach began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine, and was drunken, and, was, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Cham, the father of Canaan, et saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without, and Shem and Japheth took at a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered at the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. And Noach awoke from his wine 
and knew at what his younger son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be Yahuwah, Elohim of Shem, and Kina'an shall be his servant. Elohim shall en enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Kina'an shall be his servant. And Noach lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years. And all the days of Noach were nine hundred and fifty years, and he died. <laughs>